Katrina Schroth was a teenager living in Dresden, Germany in the early 1900s when she was diagnosed with scoliosis, a sideways curvature of the spine. The condition had no cure. Most children who suffered from it could expect to spend a life in bed or rolling around in a wheelchair. But Schroth had other thoughts about the human body's potential. She began training herself in something called orthopedic breathing. She would stand in front of a mirror, twist her body, and inhale into one lung and then the other. After a few years of doing this, she'd breathed her spine straight again. Schroth began teaching the power of breathing to other scoliosis patients, and by the 1940s, she was running a bustling institute in rural Germany. Hospitals had given up on these people. Schroth welcomed them by the hundreds into her home. Together, they breathed and stretched themselves back to health. The medical community repeatedly tried to shut down Schroth, claiming she was neither a doctor nor a therapist and was not qualified to treat these people. She ignored them all and kept doing things her way for the next 50 years. This former scoliosis patient, who as a teenager had been left to wither in bed, would die in 1985, just three days shy of her 91st birthday.